Okay, so this is a product review for the Michael Bloom. And let me show you the product straight away. This is all you're going to see on there. It's so all you're going to see is the back. Pause the video as you need it. Get you in closer. Go up, down, around. Okay, so this is the first year I'm using this brand. And I do like the quality of this product. Now, I inoculated my soil with this stuff, and if you look at my super soil video, you'll see another video of an update of my super soil, my super soil bloomed, and I do believe that this product did get my soil to the point of blooming. So when you, basically what, what you do is when you mix your soil and you add this product and your probiotics and you add all this other living organisms to your soil, you want to make sure that soil's in a container with the lid on it, and then you want that soil to bloom. So the whole top of the soil, once a container blooms, will look like a white fuzz is on top of it. Once you see that, you know your soil's properly and fully inoculated. That's the proper way to do that. If you're going to spend the kind of money you're spending, like me, you need to inoculate the soil correctly. So I did do that with this, but I didn't wait to full term. I kind of pulled it out midterm. I don't necessarily think that that was a bad thing, but... I don't think my soil reached full inoculation of the mycorrhizas and the Michael Bloom and the Bokashi, which is a back which is a bacterial inoculation. So I inoculated my soil with bacterial, I inoculated it with fungi, and what else I inoculated it with? I think those were the only two things. Oh, and I used the insect frass for the insect part of it. So it's like uh, they're taking up the chit the plant takes up the chitons out of the soil gets into the plant, and then the, the bugs don't want to eat it, but that's something else. Um, this is the first time I use this product. Now, I really like this product. See, I always buy the mycorrhiza that comes in the powder, so it's a concentrated spore form, and then so you're supposed to, they tell you that you, you, there's two ways to use it. You can mix it in your soil, or you can take your starts and dip it into the mycorrhizin and plant in it. That's probably the best way to do it because you're guaranteeing that that plant is fully going to get inoculated from the root system up. There's no better way to do it. The problem is it gets very expensive to do that, especially if you're doing 150 plants because once you take your plant start and you dip it into that stuff, <laughs> it's like an eighth of that bag is now gone. That powder is, you know, it goes right into the, the bottom of that root thing. So it's you tend to want to just mix it in the soil so it gets all the way around. I mean, once the plant gets inoculated, you're fully set. You don't need to have that much of it. The point I'm trying to make is you can't help it. You, you've got 150 plants and you're not going to sit there and like dab it a little bit. You want to dip, go, dip, go. You want to, you, it's production when you're doing that many plants. So you end up using more than you need to. Is it going to hurt your plant? No, it's just you're using more than you need to, you know. <laughs> and it can get quite expensive when it starts coming to the mycorrhizas. So I went with this product, which is Michael Bloom, which isn't a, a powderized form for dipping for your starts. Now, you can buy this product, or, and you can buy, in addition to that, you can buy the concentrated product, which is a powdered form, for dipping your thing in it, if you want just extra safety. Again, is it going to hurt your plant? No, not at all. Is it going to help your plant? Well, most definitely, because now you're getting enough of this stuff in your soil, and you're guaranteeing you're going to get inoculated. The point I'm trying to make is it can get really expensive doing this. It can get very expensive. I can spend thousands of dollars to make two cubic yards of high-powered soil, but there's a point in which excessiveness becomes ridiculous. You don't want to, you don't want to excess in something, and it's very easy. I can, I can become OCD about this in the, in the worst way. I literally, I, I would sell my house to make the best soil. That's the kind of way I can be about things. Not that I'm going to do that. I'm just saying, when I start getting OCD about things, boom, I go to, I go 100% all in. I don't care if I have to mortgage off the house and sell off the car just so I can make my soil. That's the way it gets with me. Yeah, I'm a little extreme, but I want to see truly the best results of these products. Are they lies? Is it true? And so I put these things to the test. And I've been using this product. I really like this product. This is a totally different product than I'm used to. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm used to using the powders and adding it in there and dipping and stuff. This is a totally different product, folks. 
you can see what it looks like right there. It almost looks like kitty litter. And it might be like a, a kitty litter mix with the mycorrhiza. And they inoculate this sand and in kitty litter with the mycorrhiza powder so it has something to surface to stick to. And then when you mix it in your soil, now it spreads easier and stuff. When you're using those powders, you, you take that powder and you dump it in your soil. As soon as you put it in there, it, it clumps up. And it becomes really hard for you to distribute it out into your soil very well. So now, you, instead, of, instead of just dumping a clump in your soil and mixing it in, so what you tend to want to do is you sprinkle it across the surface of the soil and you spread it across a wide surface and then just kind of scoop it around like that. And it's better that way. If you put it in one, if you take your thing and you inoculate your soil with the powdered mycorrhiza and you go like that with it, it's going to stay a clump. It's not going to inoculate very well. Unless that soil is really dry, but most of the time our soil's got some moisture in it. But if you spread it across the top, what happens is, is as you're sprinkling the stuff like this across the top of your soil, the wind is blowing and blowing those micro fine particles of mycorrhiza out your greenhouse door. And you're just throwing your money in the garbage because that really fine powder, that's the stuff that's the spore itself. The other stuff is like, an additive so the spores can stick to something. So all you're adding is the additive and your spores are all blown away because you're sprinkling it around in the air. See, I'm not a big fan of that. With this product, at least you have it inoculated onto like a medium of some type. And it's, it, it's, the medium is inoculated. And when you spread it out in your soil, it spreads out much better. Now, what I would say is that I like this product as a soil mixture. I do believe I was feeling some benefit from it, though I am showing some other plant stresses. Could have been from the heat wave we got. Really knocked out a lot of my plants. But I do like this product. I, I would say if you do go with this product and you're following my super soil mix, I'm going to double the, the quantity on this as well. This is a living organism. This is not the same thing as is adding a nutrient to your soil. This particular product I do feel needs to be doubled. I don't feel I added enough of this, maybe even tripled. I think they got, this is, this was a, oh also too, just keep in mind these products got an expiration date on it. So make sure you use these products by the expiration date. You don't want to overbuy and then put it in storage for long periods of time. This product has to be ordered every year basically. So, you're, or every other year. It's good for about a year or two on a shelf in a cool environment, dark with no sunlight. It's good for about two years. But any more than that, there's an expiration date. Don't, don't wait too much past that expiration date. This is a product you want to buy biannually. Uh, this was a two-pound bag, not enough. I do believe you need five pounds to mix the ratios that I were mixing for my super soil. And I was mixing roughly... Uh, I think in the end it was coming out to three and a half or four cubic yards of soil. There's just simply not enough to mix into that soil. Even if you use the powdered mycorrhiza, you would have had to go double doses on that. And this stuff isn't cheap, guys. This stuff has a little, it's got a little bit of an expense to it. But again, you can't beat the effects you get from adding these biological mediums to your soil. The, the effects are incredibly good. I mean... I definitely recommend this product. I will be using this product again in the future for my next plantings and stuff. But this is definitely a recommended product. I like this. I'm going to be ordering this from now on in the future. Hopefully they stay in business. And I will be adding the other mycorrhiza powder as a plant starter. Uh, you know, you dip your plant start in that thing before you plant. That kind of a thing. I will be using that as well next year. We've got to make sure we combat these diseases, especially on your tomatoes, so we get some decent crops at the end of the year. All right, so that was your product review from Michael Bloom. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.